Oh, right. Today's Valentine's Day. No wonder there were so many guys bringing girls in here. Don't you have anything exciting happening? I mean, you've been here nearly a whole year. You know, when I was young. <laughs> oh, boy. Good evening. I didn't know you were still working. Sorry for stopping by so late. Oh, uh, you should have just told me. Here, I'll leave the store to you. Enjoy yourselves. That's considerate of him. I hope I'm not imposing. I know I already saw you before, but I really wanted to have some time with you today. So I thought I'd stop by on the way home from practice. <laughs> Same here. I had so much I was going to say once I finally got to talk to you. But now that you're here, and I can see your face for myself, none of it seems so important anymore. It's all right. I understand why you did what you did. On another note, I brought you something. It's chocolate, since it's Valentine's Day today. You're very welcome. After all, compared to what you've done for me, this is nothing. Just checking, but... We're back in the real world, right? Oh, I wanted to say, Senpai, I... Ever since that day, I've finally been living for myself, as myself. And from now on, I always will. Uh, so, um, may I sit next to you? You're going back to your hometown soon, yes? <laughs> it's sweet of you to ask. But I'm going to keep working hard. Wherever you are, I'll make sure you hear about me. She always said she performed best when thinking about someone she loved. I think I finally understand Kasumi, what she was trying to say. When I think about you, I get the feeling the competition's going to go just fine. I think you know what I mean. Perfect timing. You've got a guest. Sorry to bother you this early in the morning. I was wondering if you'd like this. There's no obligation, of course. You've helped me through a lot. I wanted to express my appreciation. So I'm the one who should be thanking you. So, thank you. Well, look at this hotshot. Lucky guy, having a gorgeous lady drop by this early just to give you treats. I hope you don't mind that I stopped by today. No doubt you already got some from someone special. I should really be going anyway. Sorry to impose. And this is hardly the end of my debt, of course. Chocolate isn't going to cover all you've done for me. See you around. Great timing. I was just headed to your classroom. Here, take this. It's chocolate. Think of it as a token of appreciation for all you do for us. Don't worry about it. It doesn't have to be a big deal. See you again soon, okay? Give you this. I thought it'd be
be best to wait until today. After all, if you got one from someone special, I wouldn't want to intrude. You always do so much for me. This is the least I could give in return. Of course. We should get coffee again sometime, too. Just let me know when you're free. Welcome back. I wasn't sure I'd even see you, but I guess this is good timing. Here, take this. Figured you deserved a little appreciation. <laughs> Who knows? Don't get your hopes up. Sounds like you've been through a lot. It's kind of a relief to see you're the same as ever. Remember, I'm pretty close by if you ever come down with something. Call whenever you need to. See you later then. Sure you want me hanging around? I, I can step out for a bit if you like. No, I'd prefer you stick around. Everyone I owe something to has got to hear this. I'm thinking about moving away. Moving? It's just... A hell of a lot's happened this past year, you know? It's got me thinking about the future. And how I still want to get back on the track team. That's why I want to move closer to a physical rehab facility. Get my knee fixed up while going to school. At the earliest, all this is going to kick off starting next month. I see. That is quite sudden. Hmm. On? Actually, I've got some news too. I'm in the middle of looking into studying abroad. Just short term. I've been wondering what would be the smartest move for my career, so... You're moving too. Both Haru and I are looking for places to live on our own, starting next month. In fact, our moves will probably occur around the same time as Ryuji's. I plan to keep learning about the business while also attending college. And that's why Mako-chan and I were talking about how we won't be able to get together like we used to. Are you gonna tell them too? Um, so... I passed the entrance exam. I'm gonna be a high schooler starting in April. First high school, then college. Then I can finally research cognitive science for real. Even you, Futaba? No, I apologize. I should be wishing you all the best of luck. Nah, you do have a point. We are going our separate ways. Oh, you mean the bonds we all have? <laughs> That's a great point. It seems you're all taking great strides forward. I, however, will not be going anywhere until I've completed my current painting. No matter how many years it takes, I will express this feeling that's grown within me since we first banded together. That's still some kind of stride though, ain't it? No matter what we may go through, or how many times we may stumble, we'll follow the path we believe in. That's what the Phantom Thieves are all about. Stop trying to be such a cool cat. I am not a cat! Yeah, I guess I am. There's still no way I'm accepting Doc's reality, but if it weren't for going through that, I don't know if I would have felt this way now. It's like following through with what I want to do in life. I guess I learned how to really believe in my future. In that case, wouldn't you say Sumire learned the same thing? I mean, she is at training camp right now. Indeed. While her viewpoint may differ from the Phantom Thieves' beliefs, there's still much we can learn from her. Oh, that reminds me. Sumire left something with me. She told me she forgot to give us this the other day. Is that... 
A newspaper clipping? Guess it was lying on the ground when we got out of Dr. Maruki's palace. This article! It's the case about Dr. Maruki's loved one. The one whose family was murdered. I'd be willing to bet. This is Doc's treasure. So her case was the origin of Maruki's distortion. Would you hold on to this? We've all got to keep living with our eyes focused on our dreams. Otherwise, Dr. Maruki's gonna give us all kinds of shit. You're absolutely right. <laughs> well, I'm very impressed. You've all become quite mature. So let me throw you a little celebration in honor of the next chapters of your lives. Order whatever you'd like on me. Thank you. Oh yeah! It's all you can eat and drink, people! Uh, uh, huh? Boss, thank you for the generosity. Uh, that wasn't what I said. Could you at least go easy on me? Everybody <laughs> down! <laughs> Whatever you guys want. Woohoo! Oh, yeah. Great cheese! Grab a Are we sushi? lucky? Sushi! Yeah. Are you ready for tomorrow? <laughs> White Day. That's tomorrow, right? You got some chocolates on Valentine's Day, didn't you? And White Day's when you return the favor. The men do the gifting. What's your plan? You've at least got some kind of present ready, right? Hmm. Get it together, kid. Sometimes I don't know if you're fearless or just plain careless. Fine. Listen up, and I'll give you the recipe for the ultimate date. Whoa. The Chief has an ultimate date plan? I better listen in too, just in case. First off, you're gonna need a gift. This won't work without one. Can't go wrong with flowers. Just make sure you buy them before the date. You gotta present them near the end. Surprise her. So you can't let her see you buying them on the date. Got it? Uh huh. Gotta give them flowers, huh? I gotta take notes. Next, think about where you're taking her. You gotta want somewhere with the right atmosphere, but it's gotta be peaceful. Oh, how about that new aquarium exhibit in Shinagawa? Just saw a commercial for it. Might be a good spot, right? The aquarium's a good place for a date. I see. Now, once the date part's over, you gotta take her out to dinner. Somewhere nice, too. It's kind of last minute to make reservations. All the fancy places get booked pretty fast around White Day. Okay, right. Too late to make any reservations. Oh, wait! What?! <sighs> Damn it. I don't usually do this, but... I know a place. <sighs> Can't guarantee anything. I bet they're full up, too. But you might get an edge if you mention my name. Wow, amazing! Chief has connections! So, once you're at dinner, 
you get to talking, enjoying yourselves, and that's when you give it to her. Good, you were paying attention. It's the perfect time to surprise her. And that ought to do it. Just follow the plan and you're safe. Wow, this plan is foolproof. Leave it to the chief. Well, I taught you my secrets. The rest is on you. Do your prep and make those reservations. Good luck. On that note, I'm going home. Now it's up to you. You should start prepping right away. Don't waste the chief's advice, all right? Let's see. The reservation comes first. You remember that restaurant chief told you about? Thank you for calling, sir. Were you looking to make a reservation? I'm sorry, sir, but I'm afraid we're fully booked for tomorrow. White day is crazy, huh? But don't worry. All you have to do is mention the chief. You're a friend of Mr. Sakura's? My apologies, sir. If you could just hold for one moment. Thank you for your patience. You wanted a dinner course for two on the 14th. We will have a table ready for you. Dang, the chief has serious clout. Could I ask your name and contact information? Okay, your dinner plans are locked in. Now you just gotta get the flowers, and then it's off to the aquarium and dinner. It's gonna be busy tomorrow, so we'd better get rest while we can. Today's the day. Let's go get those flowers. Think there was a florist in that underground passage in Shibuya. I'm looking forward to it. Oh, what brings you here today? I see. Okay, leave it to me. That should do it. I tried to keep it as simple as possible. Okay, that comes out to... Hold on, let me cover this one. You've been taking care of me yourself, so I need to express appreciation for you, too. Good luck! I'm rooting for you! Okay, now you're all ready for the date. You know who you plan on inviting, right? Don't worry, I'm a gentleman who knows his manners. I won't be tagging along. All right, good luck out there. different kinds of fish. I'd never have realized just seeing them from a distance. They're all so beautiful. Come to think of it, I remember we had a family trip to an aquarium when I was younger. Kasumi was so excited to see the fish, but apparently I was so scared I cried the whole time. Oh, I'm having fun now. Hmm. Um, senpai? If I'm wrong, you can just tell me. But, is this a date for White Day? I knew it! I'm so glad I got to spend it with you, Senpai. Since we're on a nice date like this, though, we might as well have fun. Oh, wait! I think this is the end of the exhibit. Thank you for taking me out today. I'll be even more motivated for tomorrow's practice. What? Well, I suppose I'll take you up on that. This 
this restaurant is beautiful. I'm impressed, Senpai. Of course! Oh, right. Inside voices. Sorry about that. Love is so strange. I feel so happy when I'm with my boyfriend. But even tiny failures get me so depressed. As long as I've got you, though, I feel like I can get through anything. Oh, senpai, I'm glad we're on the same level. Um, so to speak. Oh, uh, sorry. Sorry about that. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us on this special day. We wish you all an unforgettable evening, with one last finishing touch from us. Huh? Looks like something's happening. Oh, it's gorgeous! What? Thank you! So much! I never saw this coming, but I'm so, so happy. I've never been surprised like this. I keep falling in love with you all over again. I guess you put a lot of effort into this date, but I shouldn't have expected anything less, Senpai. You take care of everybody, and you always put their happiness before anything else. But I don't want this to be one-sided. One day, I want to take care of you like you do for me. Though, I guess that might not be for a while. Thank you. It'll definitely happen eventually, so please be patient. Okay, maybe I'm getting a little too worked up about it. Um, we still have some time left tonight, so... Can I stay with you just a little longer? Hey, you're finally taking off tomorrow. Sojiro said you don't have to help out here today. Go and see your friends before you leave. <laughs> Off you go, then. Try not to cry! <laughs> Goodbye to me? Cut it out. You're gonna see me tomorrow. Just remember to pack once you get back. You hear? I don't want you forgetting anything important here. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. I'm surprised you kept a log this whole time. Thanks, though. I'll keep it safe. Still, a lot has happened. After all, you had quite the side job. Just behave once you're home, okay? Shouldn't you be saying your goodbyes? Go on. Even after we're dead and gone, we'll still be the Phantom Thieves, right? Even after we're dead and gone, we'll still be the Phantom Thieves, right? You look like you're doing well. I decided to stop by after work. I used to come by this area on occasion. I was always a fan of LeBlanc's coffee. It's tomorrow, right? The day you go home? We're talking about the mastermind behind the world-renowned Phantom Thieves. Give me some credit. On the record, you've been cleared of all the crimes you were accused of. Unfortunately, the stigmas that came with them are a little harder to simply wipe away. You might find that even now, sometimes it'll feel like the whole world's against you. So, just in case, take this. Whenever you need help, I'll be on your side. 
remember that. I'll be doing my part to bring some real justice to our legal system. Can't rely on the Phantom Thieves forever. Going home tomorrow, right? Then let me give you an update. So, about Miwa-chan. Her symptoms started fading pretty soon after administering the new medicine. Yeah, I'm relieved too. And it's all thanks to you. Thank you for supporting me through it all. Same goes for the situation with Oyamata. You did everything you could to help me with it. I don't know where all that devotion comes from. Maybe I should take a cue from you. Here. I want you to have this. You saved Miwa-chan. It's only fair that you get to meet her someday. Let's see. Once Miwa-chan's all better, maybe the both of us could take a trip to visit you. <laughs> Keep your health in check. I want you there to welcome us with a smile, okay? shop venture is progressing toward opening its first location. Actually, I'll be involved with its launch even while attending college. Indeed, it's an early step, but nevertheless an important one. I can only imagine it'll be difficult. I'll have to balance my studies and managing the company. But it's all for the sake of making my dream come true. I swear I'll make this work. By the way, I tried making something for you. I'd like to sell handcrafted goods at my cafe as well. So this is the first step in my practice. I want to live up to my grandfather's reputation after all, and my father's legacy. It has to be a comforting, welcoming place for everyone. Some place to spend your peaceful hours. Once it opens, we should all meet up there. Just like our days at Leblanc. Yo, man, spring break's supposed to be the most fun part of the year, but instead you're just moving away. Then again, so am I. I guess this is probably the last time we'll be meeting up here. Dude, don't say it like that. You make it sound like I'm gonna die or something. Look, this isn't gonna be the last time we see each other. I'll come visit whenever you want. Honestly, even with the rehab, I don't know if my leg's ever gonna be how it was before. But when I think about how much I want to run, well, I figure there's no point lying to myself. Nothing's guaranteed. I don't know if I'm gonna get anywhere, but well, you could say that for any goal, right? I don't want to live stuck on regrets or shame. I, I'd rather just run and keep on running. And hey, you better practice too. See, if we share our times, we can even compete from far away. Man, when I think about going to school without you guys, I don't know. I can't imagine it. It's nice feeling like I got a future worth looking forward to for once, though. And it's all thanks to you, man.
what a coincidence. I was just getting some of my college enrollment papers ready. Soon enough, I'll be living on my own too. <laughs> New beginnings for both of us, I suppose. Thanks. You'd better take care of yourself back home, too. My sister and I are actually going to look at my new place soon. A year ago, all this would have been unthinkable for me. Nobody told me to do this. It's a path I chose for myself. If I'd never met you and stayed a simple honor student, I never realized I had that choice. So, I want you to have this. It helped me learn to love studying. One day, I'll be a police commissioner. I know it won't be easy, but I also know I'll never give up. By giving this to you, I want to prove that. We fought back together, so it seems only fair you keep it. I want you to know that you're an irreplaceable comrade to me. Always have been, always will be. Sure. Hey, um, I actually have a present for you, too. Even when I was human, I kept holding on to this for some reason. Between a cat, a human, or some kind of vehicle, it's been hard to say for sure who or what I am. But whatever else I am, I can say without a doubt, I'm your partner. Well then, we should probably go home and get packed, huh? You finished saying your goodbyes? Well, how'd it go? Did it make you feel like you want to stay? I see. You must have made a lot of good memories here. You're leaving early tomorrow from Shibuya, right? Make sure you pack up before you head to sleep. Oh, and take that stupid cat with you. I don't want it getting lost and ending up back here. Don't make fun of me! I can go wherever I want all by myself. Huh, it really never stops meowing, huh? Hey, Futaba, what's he saying? Is he sad that he has to leave me? He said, Sojiro's stupid. What? What kind of translation is that? Let me have a nice goodbye. <laughs> Mona's your responsibility now. Leave Sojiro to me. I've been counted on. Oh, man. Even if you're not here, I'll make sure I do my best. So, you go do your best, too. <sighs> Thank you for everything. Hey. Got everything? When I took you in, I thought I was the one helping you. But it turns out it was the other way around. Take care. Don't be so cheeky. Oh, and sorry. I wanted to have Futaba see you off too. I haven't been able to find her since this morning though. Same with that cat. If you end up back in the city, come on by. I'll at least treat you to a nice cup of coffee. Wait, that means I can't go closing this door, huh? <laughs> what are you doing? Hurry up and go. Yeah.
<laughs> after we said we'd disband. We are all in break after all. No more entrance exams. I can drive you to the station. You really, really gotta go? Uh, Shit. <laughs> They've even followed us here? What should we do? Need a hand? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> Dr. Maruki? You're suggesting uh -huh. we split up? <laughs> should we? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go! Come and get us! <laughs> <laughs> Shall we then? There's no charge. Oh? If you find yourself struggling in life, you can start over, like me. Remember that. So yeah, if that ends up saving you, then we're square. <laughs> Good luck. Whoa. Damn, man! Those dudes just wouldn't give up! Wish it went smoother, but hmm? I guess this is it. Be sure to eat well. We'll see you. Soon, right? If you don't come back, we'll find you there. Hmm? Alright, it's time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Aww, gotta go already? We don't make the train schedule. See you later, my dude! <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> you taught me to keep my head up, didn't you? Coming with you. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Take care. Huh? Mm.
I'm not afraid of the dark. 